All right, so today is National Tattoo Day, and one Mainer who is probably celebrating is Luke Tran. Tran's family fled Vietnam in the mid 70s, first moving to Pennsylvania. He has a he has overcome a lot as a child of immigrants who didn't look like a lot of the people around him. They didn't have much community and an abusive father meant life at home was difficult as well. But he found a sense of belonging in tattoo parlors and now owns Tsunami Tattoo in Portland. Here's Rob Caldwell. He's been a tattooer for more than two decades and now owns and runs Tsunami Tattoos you know, uh, in Portland. Yeah, and, and like in what he likes area, is the way this art calls on two of his skills, storytelling and problem solving. To Fook, tattooing is a way of putting a stamp on yourself, of marking yourself as an individual. And yet, in doing that, you're also joining a community of people who have also done the same thing, right? So it's this kind of, there's a paradox in there about sort of shouting out to the world, like, look at me, I'm different, just like everybody else. <laughs> What's the most memorable one you've ever done? Ooh, um, well, uh, I don't know if I can say this on TV. Unfortunately, no, way too racy. So let's hear about the time he did a tattoo uh, of a tattoo s'more. Convention. A client of mine really wanted to, just, he, he got a tattoo of like a stick with graham cracker and you know, melting marshmallow and chocolate. And it was really funny because while I was doing it, other tattooers would walk by the booth, lean over my shoulder and be like, is that a s'more? And I'd be like, yes it is. <laughs> Rob Caldwell with that story from 2020.